queensofmachines.com Welcome back to greensandmachines.com I love saying that. I am, uh, why am I not staying in the frame long enough to say anything? I'm just too hyped up, man. Too excited to cut this piece of metal. Yes, sir, I'm Diecaster D. We are here in the scrap attack place, ready to cut this thing. This is a, uh, this is, oh my gosh, do I have to give it away already? No. This is a, uh, testing out my 18 inch swing on here and you know I've never turned anything this large in diameter and my lathe came with this unusually large swing for the amount of chuck it has so I'm going to take advantage of that and so here we got I only need this half of the, the radius um, I bolted this here for a counterweight because I noticed the the whole table was shaking when I turned it on at first and so I can balance out my moment of inertia and I went to college so I can act like I know what that means <laughs> no I just didn't want the table shaking in fact I put those extra wood chucks underneath it so we're gonna try it out and see if it works That was not actually cutting, that was the wood hitting the the, the T-bolt. <laughs> Alright, plan B. Alright, we got the longer tool, let's get back into it. Look at that, it's actually working. I got to change the tool bit again because this one seems to be treating it better. And also I noticed when, when cutting this piece in particular, it really wasn't liking the in to out feed because that's kind of like splitting it apart. If you push it in this way, it's like pushing them together because that's kind of how the woods were you know, oriented. So yeah, we'll keep doing this. I also noticed you can make beats with this thing doing interrupted cuts, so let's try it like freestyling or some.
machining videos, man. It was so long and boring. Just for the record, this thing is actually screwed onto the board. And also, I noticed, I think this may have been giving me trouble trying to machine through that knot. That's pretty inconveniently placed, huh? But hey, they don't design trees to be machined. <laughs> Okay, right now we are on the turning of the side right now, and things are turning out just peachy. Look at this. Hey, that kind of looks like the, the Can I Bus logo. That's a, that's a shout out to one of the greatest rappers of all time, hey? But that's finished. I'm loving that. This is a heck of a lot nicer to machine than plywood. I mean, machining plywood is like, do not do it. <laughs> This right here gives me the confidence that I can machine 16 inch like wooden bowls in my lathe. That's awesome. I thought this was funny. I was marking off where the diameter was and I realized that I can connect the line so easily because this finish is so poor that the marker just glides through the groove just like a needle on a wrecker. Yes, I'm making progress. One thing I'm gonna have to be concerned about is these screws, because they go through here. And once those start getting hit with the lathe bit, things might go crazy. But otherwise, this is coming out way better than I expected. I was originally, when I laid this out, I thought the diameter was going to needing to be this, like a lot bigger. So that's why the when I changed the design, the radius ended up being a little smaller. So that's going to be thin point, I guess, on the inside. But I'm very, I'm very proud so far <laughs> that I did this because I'm not. A woodworker. I, I have no formal training in woodworking, really. And woodworking to me seems a lot harder than metalwork because the material is so inconsistent. But on the good side, it is easy to cut wood. Speaking of which, we're using this uh, fancy anti chatter criterion and boring bar compliments of the company I used to work at that closed and I got a bunch of free stuff. This thing actually threads on, but it only lets you machine it that way, obviously. And has some sort of spring mechanism on the inside. Really, it's a nice boring bar. And the insert's real sharp right now, so we're cutting good. Oh yes, we have a contiguous cut. One piece, two piece, three piece, all four pieces on the same diameter. Sexy. I realized that the the reason for my proficiency in cutting in this direction instead of on the face was because clearly there's more deflection this way than this way. This is pretty solid. This is like flimsy. So if I could do it all over again, I would probably attach it with some massive face plate that like bolts onto the lathe spindle which I have not got around to building yet oh boy casting project 16 inch face plate that's happening alright we are making progress the inner diameter is being turned now and I've decided I bolt this thing onto the lathe so because it fell off once already the wood was getting weak or something but hey, that's solid now. I only had a quarter inch all thread, but that should suffice. It's a chucked and it's bolted and it's sturdy. Now let's do it. It's an optical illusion. It's really on center.
can't make you dizzy, huh? Alright, only 10 more passes to go. Alright, now this just makes me smile. This cunning and ingenious misuse of machine tools is the way this is going to happen. Uh, I was wondering how in the world I was going to reach the outside diameter if the taper was on there. I mean the... Goodness, I cannot even remember. The, the compound was adjusted like that because before I had to pivot it over to get the reach with that boring bar. But this time I need this over here to cut the taper. And I was wondering how in the world am I going to get my boring bar out there. So I figured, hey, I'll try using this thing because I never ever used it before. <laughs> And this is probably on the bottom of the list of intended purposes. Or bottom of the list of unintended purposes. And I just, I don't know, this, this type of s*** makes me smile. And uh, I'm pretty sure anyone else who's a machinist would agree. Because we got like, the scrap boring bar going through here, bolted into here, and this thing comes out at a right angle, like, hey, that's like, perfect right there. So I don't need to even build any fancy ass fixture. Alright, let's cut it. Cut and tape. Good. Nice and tapered, three degrees. I did start cutting through those screws, but I didn't mind, you know. I got tons of boring bars. And I got that green wheel for that thing to regrind my tools. Yes, the draft is three degrees. This is a foundry pattern. I'm not going to say what it's for, even though I probably dropped a massive hint in the middle of the video for those really paying attention. And yeah, let's do the inside. Greensofmachines.com